stalemate after two and a half years of negotiating. But more importantly, if it was really all about compensation, we would have been on strike six months, you know, after we started. But it's really about the respect that we deserve as teachers. We teach our students every day to stand up for themselves, to, do, to be listened to. They know that they deserve to be listened to, um, that they deserve respect. And when things don't go their way, we tell them to try to work it out through compromise. But at the end of the day, when all those things don't work, we tell our students that it's time that they stand up for what they believe in. And today, we are demonstrating that in our actions. And we all have to keep in mind that the teachers took a freeze two of the four years previous to this contract. So that back before we started negotiating for the 16-17 school year, that two of the four years prior, the teachers took a step freeze on the pay schedule in order to help the district financially so that they remain financially solvent. So we're, you know, very perplexed why we can't get an agreement that is a simple cost of living increase and we're willing to pay more for our health care in light of the um, how we've worked with the district in the past and have taken these stuff freezes. Two and a half years of negotiation has brought us here. We've been trying to work with the school board, trying to get a fair contract. Um, every proposal that we've gotten from them has been a proposal that has caused a significant portion of our teachers to lose money and we just can't accept that. It's not fair.